back at me. I love them both, so that definitely helps a, a, a lot. Um, the the tennis is is great. It's kind of their polar opposites. You know, tennis is a, a physical and really like exerting thing for me. So that's one end of who I am, and then the other side is the creative, like mental um, expression of that through photography. So it's been a great balance. I mean, I started taking pictures a long time ago, probably like five years ago. Um, it's been a while. I kind of stumbled onto it. It wasn't really anything that I was seeking out, but I got uh, a hold on my first camera when I was like 13 or 14. And um, I just started taking pictures of anything and everything, like driving in the car, just any time that I could. And it just became something that I really fell in love with. And since then, I've been just really learning a lot about it, trying to practice as much as I can. And uh, it's just something that kind of opens a lot of doors to other cool things like traveling and it gives you a reason to go see new places and meet new people. So it's been something that's been a big part of my life. So it's awesome. So photography for me is just a way to kind of share the way I see things, the way I interact with nature. I love nature and I love to travel, kind of like I mentioned. And um, through Instagram, the community that I, I've built in, in that and just experiencing photography, I've been able to travel to places I really never thought I would before. Um, it's, it's a really cool way to capture experiences and memories that, that you're making. And so for me, I, I do naturally like lean towards landscapes. But recently I've been trying to push myself in a more creative way and instead of just having a really epic landscape or a, a picture of it, how can I make it uniquely the way I see it? So that's kind of where I've been leaning more recently. At Mount Rainier um, in uh, Washington, that was on a trip two summers ago um, with a friend from Pittsburgh. We went out and just kind of did a Pacific West Coast uh, road trip and Mount Rainier was one of our last stops on the trip and it was really cool. We, we spent a whole day just kind of trekking through there and the mountain peak is beautiful um, and so I was just trying to capture that in a very simple way. It's one of my most popular, like it's been shared a lot. So that's been really cool for me to track um, where it's been shared and, and who's been looking at it. Um, it's totally different from just my straight up photography. It did originate with photographs um, of clouds. And so on my computer through Photoshop and some digital uh, uh, like techniques, I've been able to make a painted cloud series that that comes from. And that's just kind of the exact opposite spectrum of the, the design and art that I do. So that's another one of my favorite pieces for sure. I think photography and design will always be a part of what I'm doing just because I love creativity. I love creating things. And, and like you mentioned, design, um, that's a huge part of, of my process. And so uh, I like to make pieces of art from my photography that aren't just straight up images. So um, I definitely see after college it being something I pursue. I'm really interested in like the startup industry and, and having my own business. I have a bunch of ideas. So I mean, it will always be a very active role, I think, but the creative industry period is definitely what I'm drawn to.